again for the second episode. We're going to be doing a lot of customization to our mechs. This is probably going to be two episodes entirely because I'm very finicky with how I do this. And under normal circumstances, I'd likely just skip over this and show you the results. But for the first time, I think I will really just do it and show you how it goes. Because it is long. And I cannot stress how long it is. Um, we're going to be starting with Chimera 6, which will be renamed. What we're going to be doing is it has a firepower state which amalgamates everything in this and says how good it is in comparison. The armor. We're going to be looking at the armor stats. These, this is the armor that you have. Um, each of these, there is one piece for everything. This is a separate piece. 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 This is a separate piece, and this is a separate piece for a grand total of nine. This means that different parts of your mech have different healths. It's almost like a giant group of cells. If one cell is damaged, the rest can move on. <clears throat> um, let's immediately break, break that to Pharaoh Fibrous, which is lighter and generally stronger. Um, so I'm going to be keeping these all at maximum, because if I lose this arm, I lose my lasers. If I lose this torso, I lose my missiles, and if I lose this arm, I lose my guns. If I lose this or both of these, my mech is destroyed. If I lose this, I die, because I am inside of that. That is the cockpit right there that you can see. That little slit there is where I am sitting. So if someone shoots that and kills me, and trust me, that can happen. I've done it before. You will die. You will die fast. It is very low armor and stuff. But it is extremely hard to hit, which is the selling point of the cockpit. Um, then we're going to go on to weapons. Um, here are the different weapons. Uh, we're going to be likely just dropping all three of these in exchange for something else. So let's drop them all. What I want, though, for this build is I want something of relative eff efficiency in close range. Which often goes into the free, which often requires a lot of shit. So let's begin our just raping the fucking store. All right, medium pulse lasers immediately. I want those plus the smalls. These pulse lasers are essentially laser machine guns. I'll have to show you on the field. Um, the large laser I want one of. Usually I do builds with two large lasers. The PPC pulse particle cannon. Um. One of the most powerful weapons in the game, because it is essentially a sniper rifle with no ammunition. <laughs> That's what I would equate it to. And I want to get one early on, because I have a build for that, that I might end up doing. So it's doubtful. Next, we're going to be moving into the SRMs. I'm going to likely be purchasing, purchasing two SRM6s and two SRM4s. Um, and then let's move into the uh, machine, like the... B artillery array, goddamn. All right, things that I enjoy: rotary cannons, ultra cannons, and LBX cannons. I do not touch these for the most part. They are very heavy. They are very ineffective. Another thing I don't touch: nothing that has it doesn't have a C before it. Clan means it weighs less, a lot less, enough to be justifiable in the almost double price. It can fit things on that mech that no one else could. Because clan technology, when it comes to ballistics, is the lightest thing to ever exist. Clan, when it comes to missiles, is lighter, plus superior. LRMs are lighter. MRMs are lock-on. SRMs are lock-on. Blah, blah, blah. And let's move on. Lasers. These are beam weapons. They will, they will stay, and they will constantly hit one spot. These, there's three different kinds of lasers. Small lasers, which essentially fire quickly, do no damage. Uh, medium lasers fire slower, do more damage. Large lasers fire extremely slowly and can just put a punch into something. That's, that's a very strong main weapon. The pulse lasers, they're essentially laser machine guns. I'll put an example. The large pulse laser has a recycle time of 0 0.75 seconds. So it's like ding, 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 ding. The small laser has a recycle time of 2 seconds. That means for every time the small laser shoots, it's more than 3 times. It's almost 4 times that the large pulse laser shoots, and it deals superior damage. The only problem with the large pulse lasers, and pulse lasers in general, is that they produce a lot of heat. 
um, within a short amount of time. Uh, a good example being the small pulse, which uh, does 7.7 .7 damage and recycles e every fucking fourth a second. Which means in the time it takes to fire a small pulse laser, you fired eight shots from a small pulse laser. That's its superiority. And that's why I enjoy them so much. You c but the only difficulty is, with these, is that nothing's standing still. You can't just chew out something. You can't just chew up some mech and be like, ha, you're dead. You can't do that. You have to keep your aim on a specific spot for a long period of time, which is why I dislike them. I like to pinpoint and hit things in an exact spot. I like to pop that cockpit and kill the guy inside. And I can't exactly do that with these. Similar with SRMs, these are relatively finicky and must remain on target. And that's just the basics of it. So let's go in and let's start doing this. Alright, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do for this, however, let's look at the chassis shit. We have, oh, I almost forgot to say, hey, ECM. There are radars in this game, just like in other games. If you're caught on that radar, you, radar, you become a little blip on the map. Which people can target and whoop the shit out of. ECM prevents that for an extremely long range. The Beagle Active Probe essentially counteracts ECM and makes you see further and can put things on the radar faster. Jump jets. These allow you to jump and hover in the air for short periods of time. They allow you to do quicker turns. They allow you to be more maneuverable as a mech, which means that you can stay aimed on people and deal more damage longer. L-A-M-S. This is essentially um, to stop missiles. If a missile barrage comes down on us, these shoot down some of the missiles and help mitigate the damage taken by us. Enhanced optics. Um, these allow you to see further. These allow you to look further when it comes to zooming in. Um, very useful for sniper builds. Extremely useless for literally anything else. The IFF Jammer. This um, makes it hard for them to discern friend or foe. They have to look at you and presume you're an enemy. Um, the Advanced Gyro. Remember how I said that some things can knock you down? Well, this negates that. This mitigates the chance of being knocked down from, you know, explosions or hard hits. Hell, even rams if you're dumb enough. Um, finally, we're going to do into heat sinks. Heat sinks, essentially, um, keep you cool. If things will cause heat, and that'll make your mech hot, and that'll shut down your mech because it's overheating. Which is a fucking pain. It is scary when that happens. Don't let that happen. Um, top speed. Uh, this is dictated by an engine, which you can change, and it, it changes the weight up here, as you can see. And I want to keep it at 1.25, because that speed 57 is nice. Here's the different um, lines. Firepower. How much firepower you have. How much, how good and strong your weapons are. Jump jets give you an automatic couple. Um, armor. Ooh, armor is important. You're gonna want all the armor you can get. That's, that's what dictates your mech being alive. At all, even. Speed is how fast your mech is in comparison to other mechs for the most part. This thing is relatively fast for its engine size. Heat efficiency. <clears throat> this dictates how quickly you'll burn yourself up and die. This, is, this, this dictates how long it'll take for you to literally turn into a ball of fire and almost melt the innards of your mech. This will this will dictate how long it takes before you overheat and you shut down, spraying you know a lot of heat and fire and s smoke everywhere. This will prevent you from burning and being hot and staying hot. This is relative heat efficiency. In a specific moment, when you do a specific thing, like fire everything at once or do some crazy shit for a long period of time, this is relative. This is essentially situational heat efficiency, at least from what I understand. I always try to have my relative heat efficiency as high as I can get.
And this is both 100. Alright, now let's get into this. I'll probably just explain offenses as I put them on. I have 17 tons available to me. I have the first question. Advanced gyro, no jump jets. There we go. I am now dropped to... Uh, let's put it there. 20. 20 tons to work with. Everything costs a amount of tons. They all take away the amount of tons that you have available to you. See, such as a PPC takes away 7. That is an example. But that is not likely what our build is going to be. The difference between la um, lasers and pulse lasers? Wait, they weigh more. But I'm going to likely be doing this anyways. Let's uh, immediately start off with something else. Lasers create a lot of heat. That is their thing. They make heat, and they don't provide very much firepower, for the most part. They just have no ammunition and cannot, you know, cause difficulties in that way. Let's then move on to what we're going to be putting in this. I'm like, I'm going to lean towards an SRM-12 build, because these are both very strong weapons on their own. And I, I enjoy them a lot. And I might change out, actually. Let's do this, then. Yes. Quad medium lasers. That provides enough of a punch to survive, but not so much of a punch that it ruins our heat efficiency. Which then allows us to... Let's see if we can do it. Ah. Uh, yes? No? Oh! That's our maximum. All right. We can have a maximum speed of... 112 kilometers an hour with a relatively low firepower stat. I'm not sure if I want this, actually. I might prefer a lot more damage coming out of these things. And how would I provide that? Let's, let's think about it. Flamers! They make other people hot. No, I don't want those. Okay. To put an example, 21. 24. If I had a streak SRM-6, this would likely be around 30. If I had clan ER medium lasers, this would be around 40. But no, I do not have access to clan weaponry. Clan lasers are longer range than normal lasers, and that is their only deal. However, I want to keep the C-strike on my own. All right. I personally think that it's one ton per two, but I cannot provide that quite as much as I'd like to, unless I did, you know, drop the gyro, which I'm never going to do. Um, that seems dumb to me, but otherwise, this is the build we're going to have to go with. <clears throat> and as terrible as it is, I don't have access to clan weaponry, and I need that to make a good mech. Let's do uh, the camouflage. Let's make this one Cyan. Cyan. Save it then. I am very unhappy with this build, actually. And that's going to be um, for someone else, so I'm actually, I'll, I'll just run through that right now. The group. This is the grouping. This is my left click. This is my right click. This is my three key. This is my four key. This is my five key. And this is my six key. This fires on my left click. This fires on my right click. This fires on my three key. So, I can put all of these to my left click. All these lasers are on my left click. If I left click, it fires. If I right click, it doesn't do anything. And if I press 3, it fires my missiles. I'm not going to be using this, so I won't change it. Let's look at the other Chimera. Yes, I want to save the changes. I'm going to likely keep this one of... Drop that, and then max the armor. There we go. There's two places you can take off armor with relative safety. The rear torso and the head. I'm going to take it off the head. There we go. Our next build is going to have to be oh, goofy as fuck. Let's look at what we have available to us. MRM-20s. They only fit one in. Let's see what the free market has for us. Yes, I want to save the changes. <clears throat> if I can do what I think I can do, buy one of those, buy two of those as well. There we go. And go to the weapons. Oh, wrong mech. Alright. 
Let's see if this fits. It certainly fits. What in the world? Okay. I prefer an MRM30 as I get a little bit of weight to play with. I'm going to put in two tons in here, which gives me five total, which I can then throw into probably triple medium lasers. And then drop the jump jets. And keep that at, norm at normal. And place the advanced gyroscope, gyroscope so that I don't get knocked over as easily, because this is essentially what we're going to have to do. And then throw in one final... Hmm. Actually, with that added room, I can do pulse lasers. Which... Oh, baby. Okay. Maybe only two. Actually... Why don't we just put in chuck it full of smalls? Yeah, that would work. There we go. And then just throw in a little bit of heat efficiency in there. And then possibly just one more in there. These are really poor builds, honestly, but I'm just skimming through them right now. I'll likely go off screen and min-max the shit out of these things and get them to so, so high they're like 45 and 50. Which is what I can do with things that are that have relative tonnage. Let's go on to the hell spawn. This is a fun one that we're going to be doing. This one has a UCM and jump jets. What I'm likely going to be doing is dropping both of these <laughs> and stripping this thing. You can see that this thing has a lot more room to work with than those others. So let's get started with this now. Um. What I sometimes do is I do large pulses in either of these ER clan large pulses, and then I put a missile rack up here. But I cannot do that currently, so let's see what I can do. Here's double larges. Plus... Mm, what can I fit in here? Double SRM6? Which puts us to 34, but has no ammunition. Which, if we put that down one, we can put one thing of ammunition in each. You can see that I'm trying to keep my... Um... Oh, fuck, there's our problem, though. Ooh, boy, that's gonna suck. We have... We don't... Hmm. We have to make this work, because this is a very... This is gonna be a lot better. I'm not going to bring it down any further than that. What happens when I max this? It goes to 40. 50. I do not want to have any extra, you know, stuff. I might just put in a small laser in there. I do not like that I have low speed on this because it's not as fast as the other mechs, and thus it'll be left behind. Unless I use it myself. Which, I'm going to name it, I'm going to put it Sian again. Dunyan Rings. All right, that puts it to a firepower of 36, an armor of 45, and a low speed stat and relative heat efficiency. Let's go to the Raven now. This Raven is going to be goofy as shit. Let's uh, strip this thing and look at what we have. Armor, ferrofibrous, everything's good. Let's look at its engine rating. I want one more, two more, three more, four more. Okay, we can go pretty fast on this thing. I don't know if we want to, though. Oh my goodness, that's a bunch of shit we don't need. Never mind. An IFF jammer, who cares? Beagle Active Probe, we don't need that, you're not scouting. And ECM, no you do not. I would prefer if you had LAMS, because you're going to get missiled a lot, though. Um, We need to find a place to take away this... Hmm. Well, this one has... See, a lot of these... Light mechs have a lot more room than the medium mechs. Let's say this. See, this doesn't even have... Essentially, it has the same amount as this does, but this is lighter. Which means this thing has far more room. Let's see what we can put into it. Hmm. This is likely where the C-Strike 4 is going to come into handy. And then we're going to likely place... On top of that, um, 
couple of small lasers. And... Ooh, a small laser. Triple medium laser. And then throw an SRM-6 on there. Which then puts that to a, qua a triple medium laser, single small, and d is double C-strike. Which actually, if we replace with this, there we go. Now, now that's lower, but technically, if this was all clan, it'd be fucking ex extreme. It'd be like 35. Which shows just how little stock they put into Intersphere tech. Um... That doesn't give us much ammo for these SRMs, though, which we need to figure out how we can get that. And I can't really think of a way, unless I take away LAMS, and then take away that small laser, and instead put in ammunition. Which does not make it very efficient, and I don't like that idea. But I might have to go with it. Alright, I'm going to have to. Let's save that. Actually, Sian, save that. There we go. I dislike these builds. I shall likely redo them when we have more weight. Such as a Bushwhacker, which is 55 tons in comparison to 45. Or a Hellhound, which is 50 in comparison to 45. Which is very nice, actually. 5 tons can mean the difference between a, mech and a good mech and a bad mech. Um. So yeah, I'm going to be seeing you out after this, because we've done everything. I'll just be re- Oh, shit. You're not the right color. Uh, I'm going to have to redo these so badly when we get some clan to us. Just doing a final checkups. Looks like everything is doing okay. See you later. We'll, I'll be back with the actual gameplay now soon. See ya.